comes X marks the spot. But this X hits the spot. Get top-rated sales and service with exceptional offers now at Winslow BMW of Colorado Springs. Save over $9,000 off MSRP. Plus, take advantage of financing as low as 0.9% APR on select 2019 BMW previous loaner vehicles. Experience Winslow BMW of Colorado Springs. I'm attorney Frank Azar of the Strong Arm. The insurance companies are not on your side, but I am. When Frank calls, they know it's serious. He got me $118,000. Call me now, Frank Azar, or go to FDAzar.com. Back by popular demand, it's the Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Furniture Row. Shop today and save big store-wide because it's all on sale. All living, all dining, and all bedroom. Find savings on the entire Denver Mattress brand luxury lineup. In five years, no interest financing. Plus, shop in store or online, and we'll deliver it free to your doorstep. But don't miss out. The Super 7-Day Sell-Off at Furniture Row ends Thursday the 26th. Shop 500 new Honda choices and get the right price right now. Shop FreedomHonda.net. Coming up on News 5 today, Governor Polis announcing a new push to try to get Coloradoans to work from home as the number of coronavirus cases in our state approaches 600. We'll explain the latest executive orders. And the fight to save lives in three states hit especially hard by the pandemic. What the federal government is doing to get medical resources into those areas where they're needed most. Always watching out for you. This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. Good morning, everyone. High fire danger today. This is due to the fact that everybody highlighted in red, Otero County, Crowley County, Pueblo, Werfano, Los Angeles County, you're going to see some strong wind gusts, and your humidity is going to dip as we get going into the day. So that's something we just need to kind of keep our eyes on. Red flag warnings are also followed up by temperatures that are fairly cool this morning, but the, the funny thing is, as the wind gets stronger, so does the temperature later today. So it's cold this morning. The winds are fairly light. That makes sense. But as we go through the day, we will build the wind. And look at the temps going into the 50s in Colorado Springs, whereas Pueblo gets pretty close to 70. There might be a little rain in the region today. It's not a great chance, but I'll, I'll pin that down through the course of the morning. Guys, over to you. Thanks, Sam. We begin our look at the headlines this hour with the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic and its impacts here in Colorado. The Colorado Department of Health and Environment saying 591 cases have now been confirmed with 58 people hospitalized. Seven people have died from COVID-19. The total number of confirmed cases in El Paso County is 51. In Pueblo County, that number is three. And starting today, half of state employees will be working from home, serving as a role model, ro serving as role models rather for Governor Jared Polis's latest order. It requires businesses across our state to reduce their in-person workforce by at least 50 percent by tomorrow. News 5's Jessica Barreto is live with the details. Jessica. Good morning, Ira and Renee. Well, Governor Jared Polis points to Italy where this past weekend coronavirus deaths outnumbered those reported in China, and he fears a similar fate for America unless we take major steps to prevent this. Polis stressing that staying at home is really the best way to defend against the disease and that it will help us avoid overwhelming our health care system and prevent long-standing economic damage to our state. It's why you only need to shop for groceries once a week and not go out with friends. It's why we all need to increase the physical distance between ourselves and others. The most valuable resource we have is time, and we need to create more of it. Polis also announcing plans to develop a supply chain to bring more ventilators and personal protective equipment to the state, as well as expand our hospital bed capacity. Now, remember, ventilators help move breathable air in and out of the lungs, and Polis says medical professionals told him that once this virus peaks, they'll likely need about 7,000 more ventilators than they currently have to be able to keep up with their patients. Always watching out for you. Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5. Thank you, Jessica. Governor Polis also issuing an executive order to try to help Colorado families who have had their finances upended by the pandemic. The order will expedite state unemployment claims, defer state personal and business income tax payments till July 1st, allow customers to defer loan payments without penalty, and prevent mortgage foreclosure.